So welcome back everybody. So today we're not doing Day Dallas. Today we're doing Twilight Menu Plus Plus. So yeah, we're gonna be playing DS games right from our home screen. Basically right from our home screen. It'll only be like one app and then you get to choose the wrong blah 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 blah. That's not what we're focusing on right now. We're gonna be focusing on how to do it and yeah, that's really it. So what you're gonna need is obviously a computer. Your 3DS will need to have custom firmware on it. And I think that's it. You are gonna need a few files and you're gonna need to go to a website. I will have linked in the description. So yeah, just do that. And yeah, you should be all good. So, let's get on to the computer part of it. So once you're on your computer, like I am right now, just go to this website I have right here. And download just the 7-zip file that has all of these in it, not just the 3DS or DSi. Download all of it. Go to show in folder, obviously, and just 7-zip it, extract the file, just wait for that to finish, and then once it's finished, go in there, and you should just have all these files right here. So you can just uh, close, like make this a little smaller, and insert your 3DS SD card into your computer. So once you have your 3DS SD card in your computer, just make sure that you keep this one open. Why did I close that? And we're going to be using both of these transferring files, and we'll go over that right now. So once you have these both on here, just select the NDS and the ROMs folders and just drag them onto your SD card. And just let that load. So once you have both of those things transferred, you want to go to the 3DS CFW files. Just take these and copy them over here. I already have them here, so I'm just going to replace it in the destination. And go ahead and do that same thing for the DSi and 3DS. Don't do DSi, just do DSi and 3DS. You copy this one, the boot. So once you've done all of that, you want to go to your ROMs folder, go to NDS, and put all of your ROMs just right here. This is, like right, like it says, this is where the Nintendo DS ROMs will go, and this is where the saves will be. So now that you have all of that done, you can basically just go back to your 3DS, and let's get it started. So once you're back on your 3DS, Go to FBI, like you always do when you want to download CIAs or stuff like emulators and such. When you get there, go to SD card, SD, sorry, don't go to CIA, don't go to CIA. Just scroll down to the bottom and you should see, you should see twilightmenu.cia, click that press install and delete because you don't want it to take space on your SD card and press yes. Let it download, it should only take a few seconds and you can just go back and go back to your home menu. It should show up for you, but for some reason when I just like download stuff through FBI, it doesn't like inst show up automatically. So I have to like restart my 3DS. So that's what I'm just gonna do now. Okay, so now that it's on your home menu, just open it up and you can put it into your emulators folder like I do, uh, like just with my other emulators, and it's right there, yeah. So you're gonna launch it, and for you, what should show up? I don't know why it didn't happen for me. It should show up like showing whatever software like style you want. Um, so just press A when that happens. And it should take you to the screen it's about to show me. So I'll show you like a DSi, press the touch screen, continue. So do that, or press any buttons, I guess. It should take you here, and then just press like start. I don't know if it matters what button you press. And then what I, what my idiot self forgot is that you're supposed to look for the ROMs folder not NDS folder, so I got really confused. 
So, just like I said, go and search for the ROM folder that should be right there. ROM, sorry. And then go to DS. NDS. Go to NDS, and this should show up. Like a DSi home screen, it'll show up with your games there. And yeah, that's basically all you really have to do. So I'm just going to show you Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. Sorry. While I talk through the end screen. So I hope you found this interesting. If you like actually want to play Nintendo DS games right from your home screen through ROMs. But I mean, you should, if you own these games, emulate them. Don't emulate them if you don't own them <laughs> i feel like i have to stress that because i feel like it's illegal but it is like a 15 year old game they are 15 year old games but still just don't do it there you're able to buy them come on and yeah so if you're relying on youtube to recommend these videos to you it's not they're not gonna always do it so click that subscribe button that's down there make sure it's turned to gray and not red and yeah that's basically it i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found something interesting out of this bye bye